And notice when a person starts doing what is right in his or her own eyes, they do so because their heart is what? Stubborn. They have a stubborn heart. Number one, a stubborn heart represents a prideful, a hard heart. It's a heart that has got full of pride to the point to where I'm not going to listen to anybody. I'm not going to listen to what God is saying. I'm not going to listen to holy men and women of God as they speak the word. I'm not going to, to listen to anybody. They're saying what's right. Because their heart has become stubborn. When a person gets stubborn, they get set. In their ways. Listen. And they refuse to change. Even if changing. Is for their betterment. They will not do it. Because their heart is stubborn. It's a heart that has turned hard. Toward God. And even the word. Cannot soften their heart. Even a word from, you heard folks say, all they need is, is a word from God. Let me tell you, when a person's heart gets stubborn, God will speak to that person. But they'll refuse to change. They'll refuse to do what it is that he's telling them to do because their heart has become stubborn. A stubborn heart also has to do with someone who at all costs avoids correction. Like it or not, sometimes we all need to be corrected. No need in you thinking bad of yourself because you got correct. All of us need to be corrected. The reason being, we are not always right. But when you are avoiding correction, when you're doing everything you can to avoid being told that you're wrong, like it or not, your heart done got hard. Coming to church, the word is right, but you're allowing the word to upset you, get you mad, get you frustrated. That's because your heart ain't right. The word is being sown. But the type of ground that it is hitting is hard and it's not receiving that which is being sent to cause better. Oh, God. Even if God correct me, I'm old enough now. I'm wise enough now to know he's doing it because he loved me. Doing it because he don't want me to mess up myself. He doing it because he don't want me to end in that ditch. He want me to make it to my destiny. But if I'm going to get there, he got to correct me sometime. He got to humble me sometime. He got to let me know. Hold up there. And listen to me. That's everybody. Don't think I'm not included. Because to whom much is given is also required but if you hear the night and God talking to you and you don't let your heart get hard you better come out of that place how I many know when God is getting you wanting you to change it's for your good tell your neighbor say whenever God is sending correction shout to him that's for your good tell your neighbor it hurts sometimes but it's still for your good. Oh, I ain't got no preachers tonight. Not that many. Tell somebody, even when it makes you mad, realize you mad, but you better do that. That's for your good. Get mad, but do that. Get mad, but do what God tells you to do. Because sometimes change is painful. And I'm going to tell somebody here tonight that's trying to get upset with God about stuff. That's what I want to be upset with. You got nowhere to go. You got no leg to stand on. Well, I'm mad at God. No, 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 no. You sincerely messed up. Can I be honest with you? You can't get mad at God 
Because he won't make a person do something. That ain't how God operates. How many recognize that God give all of us a what? A choice. To obey or what? Not to obey. That friend is kind of silly to sit up and get upset with somebody because they won't obey God. God gave them that choice. When you begin to walk in your own counsel, you doing something to mess up your life. Hold on. The evidence, watch this, can be found in your past. <laughs> yes, it can. Well, I, I don't know about that. Look in your past and you'll quickly come to the realization that, oh, oh, yes. Yeah, I, I, I done messed myself up more times than I can, than I can count. Walking in my own, in my own counsel. Bible says it like this. There is a way that seems right to a man. But the end is the way of death or, or destruction. Remember, a stubborn heart is a prideful heart. And some of us tonight, if, if we be honest with ourselves, don't, don't, don't you just come off as the sweetest little person you, you, you could be. Some of us got some pride in us. How many know that most prideful folk are not always those that barking and growling all the time? Sometimes a person can be just as sweet on the outside. <laughs> How many ever dealt with somebody like that? You talk to them, they're not disrespectful, but they ain't going to listen either. <laughs> They'll sit there and act like they're, every, they're taking in everything you telling them to do, but then you, you just watch them now. Uh -huh. After they leave you with all that, yeah, ooh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that would work for me. That, that would make me better. I, I could come out like that. Now, after, the, <laughs> after you're done, follow them. Because they're going to do everything that's opposite of what y'all talked about. Y'all done had some children like that. that. That when you told them what to do, gave them the instructions, it was as if they were like, good. Listen to me. Because some people, don't like other folk telling them what to do. And, but, 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 watch, watch this. but sometime God, since he know you like that, he going to make sure he send your instructions through somebody. You going to let go of that prideful spirit. You, you going to listen to somebody that in your past, you may have said, I ain't never listen to them. Watch yourself. That could be the person that has your answer. But notice, Proverbs 16, 18, pride goes before what? Destructions. Before destruction happens, a person going to begin to operate in a prideful spirit. He can't tell me. He not only told you, and when destruction hit, you're going to wish you listened. We here tonight, some, some of us got acting prideful in time past when folk trying to tell us what we needed to do. You pull the I'm grown card on them. Look, look how we smile. You, 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 you pull that I know God like you know God. And then some folk, they love to pull it. I've been saved longer than you. What the? God ain't operating off of seniority. God sending divine instruction. And God can talk through whoever he chooses to. Even talk to a man and rebuke him through a donkey. Who are you to say? Who he needs to speak through. You just need to be hungry enough and humble enough to know when he's speaking through somebody. Listen, it's some folk that got choked off stuff and died. Pope shop, meat, steaks, died, got choked. Nobody has ever got choked and died from swallowing their pride. Listen to me. Even though sometime when you're swallowing it, 
feels like death. <laughs> Having to go to somebody. You just like, I'm right, I'm right, and I'm right, and I'm right, and again, hear me, I'm right. <laughs> but then God say, you who think you right, go, humble yourself, and admit you should have listened. Some of us, we don't follow certain instructions. Because it means to do it means I got to swallow my pride. Do you know how many folk would be in church tonight? Folk that backslid, that know where they need to be, the only thing prevent them from coming back is their pride. They want to return. Pride won't let them. They want to run back in here and just shout, I, miss, I messed up. They can't do it. Pride won't let them. And I'm telling you, with your Holy Ghost for yourself, if you ain't careful, it's easy for every one of us to step into having a prideful spirit. Where we don't want to admit when we're wrong. I'm telling you tonight, pride is not something you check off your list and then you like, I ain't, ain't got to worry about that. No, I checked that off my list 10 years ago. Pride is something you have to constantly keep a check on. Cause it caught, oh, God. It has a way of trying to rise back up in you. You be mad at something I done preached tonight, and I be walking ahead. Pastor, good word tonight. Good word. The Lord use you tonight. It's in church, people. Can he prove that? I proved it with the first scripture I read. My people. Would not heed my voice. Imagine getting to a point where the one person you ain't going to listen to is God. Imagine getting so upset with God. You say, I ain't listening. Nothing else you got to say. How your life going to end? Y'all still there? Yeah. Tap your neighbor real quick and say, are you here? Are you here? <laughs> and if you save and being blessed of God. There's a devil who worked through demons to try to pull you and I into being prideful. Why? He knows it's something God hates. The devil would love for me to stop listening to God and get to the point where I come out here preaching and teaching based upon what I know. I know the scripture. I, I know what the people need. Then I come out here preaching something. Half of you be shout and God ain't said none of it. Some of you would rather hear messages that you want to hear rather than hearing what God got for you. Yeah, you do. You ain't going to admit it because sometimes what God has for us, he know we ain't going to like. You know what he doing tonight? A pride check. 